Hello my lovely Capricorns, welcome to your July 2020 reading. I hope this reading finds you well, healthy, safe, happy. I'd like to thank you for subscribing, for liking, for sharing and commenting on my channel. Your support is very much appreciated. If you like these videos um, and you'd like to see more, then so hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell that way you will know when I post new videos for you. This is a general reading for you Capricorn. It's a reading for Capricorn Sun Rising and Moon Sign. Also listen to your Rising Sign and Moon Sign. Adds, that will add layers to your reading um, and sometimes they will resonate more for you. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can um, follow the link below to my website. Your cards are flying everywhere. And I'll give you those that have flown out. Okay, if you'd like to book a private reading, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. So let's have a look at what's in store for you for the month of July. Okay, the first one you've got here so many, so many signs have gotten this and it'll be interesting to know if your if you're right, sun sign and your moon sign and your rising sign all have this uh, emperor in it. It's it, He just is coming up time and time again. So this to me is, you know, the emperor is really strong, really confident, really secure, really knowing what direction um, he wants to go in, she wants to go in um, and understanding that, you know, when, when they want something, it's going to happen. They just give the direction and it will happen. They don't think, oh, well, maybe I'll, I want this, but I don't know if it'll happen. I don't know if people will do this. I don't know if it'll unfold. There's no doubt here. So it's about you coming into July with absolute confidence, absolute strength, absolute knowledge about how you're going to be moving forward, coming into your own, coming into your own strength, coming into your own confidence, knowing that what you, whatever reality you want to create is there for you to create and you will be successful in creating that reality. So what brings that about? Here you've got the tower and you know my lovely Capricorns, the tower is about the old falling away, the old crumbling and falling away and so for you it's about um, a change, a change is coming, a transition from the old to the new and there's this falling away of, of things that um, are no longer serving you and they can be behaviours and thought patterns and attitudes um, to life, to others, to, to just being to to your expectations to where you're going moving forward not bringing the past with you but allowing it to fall away um, moving out of your life anything that doesn't serve you anything that is not going to be for your highest and your best for your ultimate good so the the tower is really quite good because it the tower creates a space in your life for the good to come in for the new to come in for you to redesign, for you to recreate. Um, so it's quite a positive card. It's a it's a sort of a clean up card, if you like. It's it's this card of transition. So let's let's move out um, things that aren't serving you anymore. Things that you don't want. And what's it crossed with? It's crossed with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a new beginning. So in order to have a new beginning, the past has to fall away. The past has to move out, has to move along. Uh, it's no longer going to serve you. Those, the way you've been, the, the, the things that have been happening, the behaviours, the attitudes, that's no longer going to serve you. So it needs to be cleared and, and it allows for the new to come in, which is the Ace of Swords, new way of thinking. There's a new learning here that's coming up. There's a new way of being. There's a new way of thinking, um, a new way of behaving, a new way of um, living your life. So this is a new start. So July is that very much. You've reached this point in the year. You've, you've had that struggle in the year and you've reached this point. I'm just looking. My dog is digging at something. I don't know what. Um, 
you come to this point where you're going new things are opening up for you so there's new things opening up for you there's new learning there's new ways of being there's new ways of thinking so um which is going to be really good for you it's going to be really you'll be really um there's a lot of growth i want to say there's a lot of growth for you my lovely pisceans and you know what's underpinning all of that is you've got the queen of swords the queen of swords is an aquarius libra gemini sun rising moon sign person that's around you that is supporting you through this that is a support for you in bringing in the change that is 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 here that is finally here for you but this is also you and you feeling really confident about where you are and what you're wanting to bring into your life you've given it a lot of thought but you do it in a nurturing way and so the changes that you're bringing in well wow, it's about changes 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 for you capricornians uh, the changes that you want to bring into your life are there for you are there for the taking are there for the asking um, but you've thought about it and you know that it's going to happen because there's that inner strength there that's going that 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 it comes with that that confidence that comes with that the queen of swords is it brings that confidence sort of energy around you it brings that com confidence sort of energy around you you've also got uh, you know how does that translate into your reality you've got the eight of pentacles here and that is 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 bringing uh, there's a lot of pro it's productive you're busy but there's also financial gain coming there's this financial gain coming here for you um, through work through something that you're doing through something that you want to put in place a new business a new job um, a, a new project um, it could be new study but that's going to ultimately lead you to an increase in your finances so it's well worth the effort it's well worth the effort for you to to um, work at that to bring it in to work towards that to allow this new new opportunities to come this new phase to open up in its fullest with your with confidence move forward Forward with confidence um, have no resistance to the changes that are coming in this new change these this this um, transition that you're finding yourself in in July is going to be um, really positive it's a really positive change it's really moving forward leaving the past behind so allow that don't resist that let that fall away let that pass through um, however you're feeling let that go you know let it go if you're feeling like you need to let that that go in the past let it go release it just release it um, and moving forward you've got the six of cups and the six of cups is this is about you know being childlike it's living in the now don't forget to have fun spend time with children grandchildren uh, your own children um, it's about being playful it's about being spontaneous so don't forget to be spontaneous be playful live in the now enjoy the moment rather than worrying about the future worrying about what's gone on in the past live in the now that brings you joy and um, playfulness so don't forget to bring some play into your into your July have some time out to to just enjoy yourself the, the the simple things in life that are going to bring you pleasure that are going to bring you joy that are going to bring you joy there's also the justice card here so july is going to bring some sort of legal dealings as well for you um, for some of you it's going to be legal dealings but it's justice and so the scales are going to be balanced it's going to be fair there's going to be fair dealings and you you know it, it's going to have a fair outcome so i feel like it's something that will go um, smoothly it's it's about being reasonable it's about being fair um, you'll have a good result with with legal dealings for those for some of you for some of you this is about um, balancing balancing um, what's it going on in your life you know if you're in a relationship where you're putting in more effort than your partner it's about well let's realign that let's balance that let's put that on the scales let's be fair about it justice is fair justice is fair it's it's neutral so let's be fair about the workload um, it could be to do with work um, you know standing up for yourself and saying well I'm doing you know two people's work and you know I need to be compensated I need to either be paid more for, for the work that I do or someone else needs to come in and help me there needs to be a, a bringing into alignment some sort of fairness on uh, with things that are going on around you that's going to also be um, coming up for you in July so 
um, there's a balancing out. It's also a karmic balance. This is the scales are also about a karmic balance um, and balancing out, you know, the good deeds that you've you've done in your life and, and there's a balancing or vice versa. So things are going to the the scales of karma are going to be aligned, are going to be brought into balance in July. And that's going to depend on how you have been in the past. That's going to come up to, to be karmically weighed for you. July's also got the Nine of Cups, and I like this because the Nine of Cups is the wish card. What are your inner desires? What are your inner wishes? What do you want in your future? What sort of future do you want to create? Let's create it. It's it's being going to be brought up for you to really um, think about, to really um, work out what direction you want to go in, what do you want to create, what sort of future do you want, what's going to make you happy. This is about you. And the wish card is that anything, absolutely anything is possible. So anything that you want, don't then start trying to overthink it. Well, how's that going to happen? It's never going to happen. It's about what's important here is about you being able to um, think about what it is you want. What are your inner desires? It's your turn to bring those to the fore. Make them happen. This is the genie card. Your wishes will come true. You've also got the five of pentacles. Now, this is your attitude here. This is your fears coming up. You know, there's a fear of some sort of loss of something, of some situation, of someone, um, of material loss or um, emotional loss, um, being left out in the cold in a situation, a relationship, uh, of work, whatever it is for you. But you've got to understand that this is your thought. These are your thoughts. And it's about keeping them positive because you're creating, remember, your reality. And so these are more to do with your fears and your insecurities rather than any reality that's, that is, is happening around you. So bear in mind that if you reach a point in July where you're feeling insecure, where you're feeling uncertain or you're feeling like you've been left out in the cold or you um, there's a sense of loss of something around you, understand that that is, that is you overthinking things. It's more to do with you and your blocks and your emotions than anything in, that is in reality happening around you because you've also got the star here and as we go through um, July the star here is about wish upon a star absolutely and keeping your emotions balanced so remain balanced remain at peace but also the stars stars are up high and to me it's always about being up high and seeing things at a distance seeing things in a different perspective or seeing it from somebody else's perspective these these things are going to come up for you in July of looking at something but you know walking a mile in somebody else's shoes seeing something from somebody else's perspective and maybe understanding something from a different angle that's also going to come up. So that's going to be really good for you to, to look at things differently. So it could be something that a project that you want to start or something that you want to start and you need to look at it from different angles, from different perspectives. Look at it from every angle to make sure you're making the right choice, the right decision. It could have to do with a relationship or a situation um, and, and looking at it from somebody else's perspective or from different perspectives to get a deeper understanding of what's going on. Because you've also got the Princess of Wands, and this is about forward movement. This is going to see you being able to move forward, sure-footed, light, follow your purpose, follow your dreams. Um, you know, look at the robes flying everywhere. There's a real sense of flow, of energy. So you're going to really feel energized by the end of July. You're going to feel better by the end of July. You're going to feel more confident about what you've set in, in motion, what plans you've laid, what changes you want to bring in. So that's tremendously positive as well. So it's, at the, it's also about being creative. It's about your life purpose. What is your life purpose? What do you want um, to bring in? What do you want to create? What brings you joy? What puts that fire in your belly, that motivation, that excitement, bring all of that back? That is certainly going to start happening for you by the end of the month, which I really like. 
let's have a look at the Angels of Abundance and see what card comes out, falls out for you. Oh, nearly. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's have a look. You've got two, so I'll give you two. You've got words of abundance. Words, of, and words carry an energy. Words are quite powerful. Words are quite, they can be very damaging and they can also be extremely positive. So words, keep them positive. Words of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. And that's the power of words. Really important. And then you've got, again, the second one that came out is positivity, faith and optimism. So, you know, really very, very uplifting energy for you. Make sure that you keep it uplifted, keep the flow. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. And these sum up your monthly reading absolutely perfectly, my lovely Capricornians. Optimism. The power of words. The power of faith to bring in the change that you're wanting. So I wish you many, many blessings, much positivity, much love to you. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a private reading from there. So many blessings to you, my lovely Capricornians.